Many real-world problems are set up in the same way. You want to find the largest or smallest value of something, subject to certain conditions. There are many ways to solve problems like this, but one of the most popular is the process of linear programming. In this video, we will look at a sample problem and set up the linear program in order to find a solution to that problem. The company has two factories, the East Factory and the West Factory, that each produce three products, widgets, gears, and springs. The East Factory can produce four widgets, four gears, and seven springs in a day, while the West Factory can produce ten widgets, five gears, and five springs in a day. The workers at the West Factory get paid more due to their efficiency, so it costs the company $150 a day to run the East Factory and $200 a day to run the West Factory. The company receives an order for 80 widgets, 60 gears, and 75 springs. How can the company fill this order for the least cost? Step 1. Assign variables. Looking at the problem, we don't have any freedom over the number of widgets, gears, or springs produced by either of the factories, but we do have freedom over how many days we run each factory. And so that freedom determines what our variables will be. Let x be the number of days we run the East Factory, and y the number of days we run the West Factory. Step two, create constraints. This will be the most time consuming process for this entire thing. First thing we'd have to do is collect all of the data for the variables that we assigned. And so the East Factory is what we called x. Collecting the data, we see it can produce four widgets, four gears, and seven springs per day, and it costs $150 a day to use. We do the same thing for the other variable, um, that's the West Factory, and we get a number of widgets, gears, and springs, and the cost. Then we have to get the data in a usable format, and so we're going to create a table based on the data that we have. The East Factory has all of these parameters, widgets, gears, and springs, and cost, and so we create a table, four widgets, four gears, seven springs, and a cost of $150 a day. For the West Factory, we did the same thing. 10 widgets, 5 gears, 5 springs, and $200 a day. Finally, there's the order, and that involves widgets, gears, and springs. So we create a new column for the order, and we know there are 80 widgets, 60 gears, and 75 springs required for the order. We could potentially have more of these widgets, gears, and springs, but we can't have less. And so having greater than or equal to 80, 60, and 75 will be sufficient. Finally, the cost for the order, we want this to be as small as possible. And so this itself will give rise to our objective function. The next thing we need to do is to actually write down the constraints. And so looking at our table, the total number of widgets that we produce is 4 times x, which is the number of days we run the East Factory, plus 10 times y. 4x plus 10y is the total number of widgets, so what we need to accomplish is that 4x plus 10y is greater than or equal to 80. Similarly, we get two more constraints. 4x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 60 for the gears, and 7x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 75 for the springs. There are two positivity constraints. We want the number of days to be greater than or equal to 0. And then finally, we create the objective function from the cost. 150x plus 200y has to be as small as possible. Step three, draw the feasible set. You already know how to do this, so I'm not going to go through the entire drawing. This here is the feasible set for our particular problem. Step four, find the vertices. The fundamental theorem of linear programming says that the maximum or minimum of the objective function must occur at a vertex. The reason this is true is that the objective function gives you a slope, but it doesn't give you a right-hand side. And so as you move the slope upwards and downwards, you'll eventually run out of the feasible set. And you're going to do that at the edges of the feasible set, in other words, at the vertices. For this particular problem, the vertices are given by intersecting the lines together. And so we're looking at 0, 15, 20, 0, and then the two vertices in the middle, found by just intersecting the lines. Step five, test the vertices. We find the cost of each of the vertices by plugging in the vertices into the objective function. And so plugging these in, we see these two vertices give $3,000 as our cost. The two vertices in the middle um, 
5 for the east factory and 8 for the west factory gives a cost of 2350. 10 and 4 gives a cost of 2300. Out of these costs, the one that's the smallest is 2300. And this will give us our minimum cost. Step 6. Answer the question. The company can fill the order for $2,300 by running the East Factory for 10 days and the West Factory for 4 days. This will make the cost a minimum, which is exactly the solution we were looking for.